Okay, so I want to take you guys on a little tour of one of my favorite spec model homes that's on the ground right now. And it's actually starting for just under 600,000. So let's take a look around this house. Starting in our living room, we have probably some of my favorite interior design that I've seen in model homes in quite some time. The chandelier is beautiful. It ties in with all of the wood that's going on in here. I definitely love a wood and leather finish. This home, I probably stepped into it like three or four months ago when they had just completed it and I cannot stop thinking about it. So pretty much everywhere that you look, there's some sort of upgrade, some sort of fireplace. There's a fireplace everywhere in this house. Starting with the fireplace. So I actually just spoke to the uh, builder's rep and he was saying that this can be done for four grand. Now I know my numbers are a little bit higher because I was thinking of a traditional wood burning fireplace because of the great freeze, I think everybody probably started charging a little bit more. Some of the other things that you probably don't already see in this shot is that we have a tile flooring going throughout the entirety of the house, which I think really ties in just exceptionally well with so much of the just kind of earthy gray color that's going on in here from our tile finish on the fireplace. And then we've got the gray accent wall, the gray curtains. This is like my color palette dream. But anyways, color palettes aren't all the things that make a house fantastic. Some of the other things that make a house a lot more livable and a lot more desirable, in my opinion, is the functionality of how your spaces are used. So coming into our kitchen, not only do we have the Eden Nook, not only do we have the amazing color palettes yet again, pendant lighting. I love pendant lighting. I think it's a great way to really give your home a little bit more dynamic and character without really breaking the bank. I think they call this the gooseneck, right? Am I saying that right? Yeah, so these little gooseneck faucets, these are fantastic and incredibly expensive. Inside the sink has this really cool like black matte finish. I don't think I've ever seen one of these. This is called a Blanco. I would be really curious to see what other designs there are out there because I don't think I've ever seen like a textured like finished out sink like this with the exception of like your farmhouse sink. But uh, that's just like a white thick enamel. You have gas appliances. So gas is really, really crucial and essential whenever you don't have electricity in the state. Believe it or not, we lost power like a year or two ago. And although I went snowboarding and had, you know, the time of my life, I was also able to stay very warm because I had the gas stove and, you know, I could still cook food and uh, realistically turn it on to warm the house. It's probably not recommended, but that's what I did with it. Here's your pantry. Another thing that I really, really, truly enjoy about this house not only does the backsplash tie in with the atmosphere of the house that's being created, I love, again, the use of the space and the cabinetry. They could have gone for, you know, probably just a two shelf cabinet, uh, but we actually get three shelves here, which if you're like me and Carrie, you have like 5,000 glasses of water around the house. Three stack cabinets are fantastic. Coffee bar. We drink a lot of coffee, whether it's Mick Cafe and the occasional Folgers because, you know, Walmart ran out of Mick Cafe the other day, so I was forced to buy Folgers because my coffee addiction told me to. You can have a coffee bar. I love coffee bars. Again, very functional. You've got the two drawers here. And may I also mention that these are, that's right soft closing drawers. You didn't hear anything when it closed because there's a set of bearings within the drawers that keep from making the loud banging noises. Stainless steel. Let's talk about stainless steel with black backgrounds. Easily one of the coolest things to really tie a kitchen together. Stainless steel is one of these modern timeless finishes for appliances. I've seen black, I don't think, have you seen white appliances before? I don't know the last time. I've seen like a white fridge. That's about it. Black appliances have not been my favorite. Nine times out of 10 when I'm stepping into any sort of new home or a condo, uh, things of that nature, the stainless steel is just a really great way to keep it timeless, but keep it clean and classy and fashionable all at the same time. So again, you've got large counter space here uh, for anybody that really loves to cook. My guess, and if I had to do a plank on this, I would say I'm probably about as tall as that. So 10 foot countertop, give or take. Am I underestimating here? I don't know, that really could be like 13. But anyways, I'm not known for my mathematics on the run, but for what it's worth, it's a really big island and you can entertain a lot of people. You can have a lot of chips and dips and Super Bowl parties at your house because you got the biggest island. And 
I think it should be known at this point in time that if you have two people that get stuck on an island and there's nobody else around them, by default they become the island boys. Yeah, cabinets. So if you want to just turn this way, I mean this house is cabinet score. I mean, I don't think I've ever been so excited about cabinets in probably any part of my adult life until I've seen this house. Sheesh, I guess I could count. So you, one set, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That's just 19 cabinets and we're only in the kitchen. So if you follow me over here, you've got 21 and two. Phenomenal place for storage. This is hands down, again, one of my favorite houses, and we're not even really through the living room slash kitchen yet. 